Most producers are not single line producers. They produce a number of products, often with interdependencies. So how much it costs to produce one product depends upon how much of another product is also being produced. We'll illustrate this with a producer who is producing two different goods, but whose cost functions are interdependent. So the costs, C, depend upon the quantities of each goods produced, Q1 and Q2. And we've estimated the cost function to be C Q1 Q2 equals 3 Q1 squared minus 2 Q1 times Q2 plus 2 Q2 squared plus 80, where all quantities are in thousands per week. And the demand functions are as follows. The revenue in each market depending on the quantity sold in the other market. So for market one, P1 equals AR1, remember that price is always the same as average revenue, equals, in our case, 40 minus Q1 minus 3Q2. And the demand function in market 2 is given as P2 equals AR2. And in our case, that equals 100 minus 2Q1 minus 4Q2. So the, the amount of revenue that we're going to get for each market partly depends upon what is happening in our other market. Now our profits function, profits are always revenue minus costs, that is to say profits pi are equal to R revenue minus C costs, which here is P1Q1, that's the price that we're charging in market one times the number of units we're selling in market one, plus P2Q2, the price that we're selling at in market two times the quantity that we're selling in market two, minus C Q1 Q2. Remember that the costs we can't regard as independent, so we've had to write minus C Q1 Q2. So here in our case, given our cost conditions and given our demand functions, we've got 40 minus Q1 minus 3Q2 times Q1. That's the revenue from market one. Plus 100 minus 2Q1 minus 4Q2 all times Q2. That's the revenue for market two minus the costs. That's 3Q1 squared minus 2Q1 times Q2 plus 2Q2 squared plus 80. That's the amount of profit we're going to make. So now we can multiply all this out so that we know how much profit it will be. This will give us 40 Q1 minus Q1 squared minus 3 Q2 times Q1 plus 100 Q2 minus 2 Q1 times Q2 minus 4Q2 squared minus 3Q1 squared plus 2Q1 times Q2 minus 2Q2 squared minus 80. 
So how much of each of these two kinds of goods should we produce? Well, we have two goods, so we need that d pi by dq1 is equal to d pi dq2 is equal to zero. That is, the rate of change of profit with respect to output must be zero for both goods. Uh, we are going to assume here that the second order condition for a maximum is met. So we partially differentiate for output Q1 and set that to zero. So the partial derivative d pi by dq1 is equal to 40 minus 2q1 minus 3q2 minus 2q2 minus 6q1 plus 2q2 is equal to zero. Now we'll partially differentiate for output q2 and set that to zero. So the partial derivative d pi by dq2 is equal to minus 3q1 plus 100 minus 2q1 minus 8q2 plus 2q1 minus 4q2. So collecting the terms for these two together, we have d pi by dq1 equals 40 minus 8q1 minus 3q2 equals 0. And the partial derivative d pi by dq2 equals 100 minus 3q1 minus 12q2 is equal to 0. And now we've got two simultaneous equations to solve. Uh, there are many ways to do this, but one obvious way is to multiply the first equation by 4, and then we can simplify very easily. So 160 minus 32q1 minus 12q2 equals 0. The second one is 100 minus 3q1 minus 12q2 is equal to 0. So now we can eliminate the terms minus 12q2 and we get 160 minus 32q1 equals 100 minus 3q1. So 29q1 equals 60. So q1 solves at 2.069. Remember these quantities are in thousands per week. We've worked out the optimum amount of Q1 to produce. But what about the optimum amount of Q2 to maximize profits? Well, we can simply substitute the value we've already worked out for Q1 into one of the equations to get Q2. So for example, 100 minus 6.21 minus 12q2 equals 0. 12q2 equals 93.79. So q2 equals 7.82. So we've been able to find the optimum amount of output, not just for a single line producer, but also for a producer who produces a number of different products. That's more tricky. But we could do it with a combination of partial differentiation and an ability to solve simultaneous equations.